Alright, hello. So, today we're going to be tackling this problem. The following circuit operates if and only if there is a path of functional devices from left to right. The probabilities that each device functions are as shown. Assume that the probability that a device is functional does not depend on whether or not other devices are functional. What is the probability that the circuit operates? So, what this is asking is it wants you to find out what is the probability that the whole thing will function given that we have two series circuits. So this is a series circuit right here. And this is a series circuit right there. We're gonna call this series circuit A. We're gonna call this series circuit B. This one is gonna be, let me zoom in a little bit. A1, A2. A3. This one's going to be called B1, B2, B3. Before we begin, I always like to preface everything with an equation. So it's asking the probability that these two are going to work in conjunction. Because if one of these lines work, the function will work. So that means that the probability of A in union with B will give us the will give us if it works or not but we have to find the probability of that happening this right here this is prime addition rule and the addition rule is in this case would be P of A plus the P of B minus the probability of P uh -oh. minus the probability of A cap B. So that means the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. So right now, let's look at what the book says about, I can't find out what the book says because I closed out the book, but a series circuit tells you that if one of these doesn't work, then the whole line does not work. That means that the probability of A working, somebody's car alarm's going off, is contingent on the probability of A1 uh, cap A2 cap A3. And so on, this also means for uh, probability B also. So let's write that, uh, leave nothing to chance. So B1 intersecting with B2, intersecting with B3. So right now, our goal is to get the probability of A and the probability of B. Once we get those two, the problem just becomes that much easier. So since this is the intersection of all three of them, the probability of all three of these working is just the probability of A1 times the probability of A2 times the probability of A3. So let's do that. In this case, we get 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.8, times 
And when we calculate that, we get 0 0.504. If we do the same thing for this, so notice that this is 0 0.95, 0 0.95, 0 0.95. What the book will do is it will do 0 0.95 cubed. This just implies that since these three are the same, it will you know, multiply itself and just cube. So in that case, it would be 0.857. So we have the probability of A. We have the probability of B. Now we can start plugging into the equation. So let me just zoom in a little bit. All right, so let's bring this equation down. So the probability of A union with B is equal to the probability of A, which is we established as 0 0.504. So 0 0.504 plus the probability of B, which in this case is 0.857, minus the probability of A cap B. This means uh, the probability of A times B. And in this case, we just do 5, 0, Four times point eight five seven, and what we're left with is point five zero four plus point eight five seven. We get one point three six one minus point five zero four times point eight five seven minus. Point four three one. No, the phone. It's got to ring at some point. Um, one point three six one minus. And what we get is the answer to be point nine two nine. And then if you round, it's point nine two nine one. But the professor did point nine two nine. We round to three sig figs, and that's what we get. I, 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 let's fucking go. I crushed it, baby. Um, but please tell me if you have any problems. These videos do not improve until you give me an area I can improve on. <laughs> All right. Um, hopefully I can do these earlier before the quizzes. And that's just something we'll just have to work on. Uh, you have a great day.